So imagine you had an AI assistant that can respond to any emails you get on a daily basis with a perfect answer and it runs on complete autopilot 24 seven. But the best part is it is completely free to set up and I'm going to show you how to build it in less than 15 minutes. Like I don't see why you wouldn't implement this into your business or your client's business after watching this because I'm going to make it super simple. So let's dive into it just to give you a quick overview of what this can do. I got an email today asking um, me about just a random question. So if we take a look at it, um, it was from a female called Nicole saying, Hey Charlie, and just a simple question about my community. So obviously this would take me time to respond and time to um, think about what to respond as an answer. Whereas I can just have my AI email assistant respond back with a perfect answer saying answer for Nicole. So it's personalized um, the actual email and it gives a perfect answer in response to what she's asking for. So that is a basic summary of what this email can do, but it can do so much more. You can have this as a customer support email. You could have this as um, just whatever you want, right? And you can even sell this as an infrastructure to other businesses um, that get a lot of outbound lead flow or inbound lead flow to their emails. It's gonna be super beneficial for them. So without further ado, let's dive into this. So it's actually really easy to do. Um, first of all, you're gonna head over to a platform called make.com. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know what make is. It is essentially a no code automation software where you can build um, workflows. Now, once you log in, you'll notice that you don't actually need to pay for anything, which is why I personally use it. And you can just create a new scenario at the top right. Immediately, once you are met with this page, you'll see a big button here. The first thing we are going to do is click um, for Gmail. So we're going to search for Gmail and we're going to click on watch emails. So the first thing we're going to be setting up is a, a trigger that essentially whenever an email is received, it's going to start this workflow and be able to use ChatGPT to actually write a response and then send it automatically. So it runs 24 seven, 365 days of the year without you doing anything once you've built this. Um, so make sure you connect to your right email. So we're just going to be using this one um, and you obviously want to connect it just right there. So for the filter, we're going to use simple filter. And then for criteria, you can do all emails. You can do only red emails, unread emails. I just recommend doing all emails if that's what you want. Um, but you can obviously change it to how you like. Um, so mark um, email messages. We're going to click no. And then maximum number of results, uh, we're going to put one. So once you click OK, um, you get an option to essentially choose where to start. So it could be from now on, whenever you receive new emails, it's going to interpret that as the, um, the thing and it's going to receive that and then start the workflow. So you can do that. Um, you can do all emails. I recommend doing from now on. Um, but you could also do all emails. Either one's fine. And that is the first step of this. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. Um, just make sure you choose a folder. So once you click on, or off then on you'll get an option to choose a folder and just make sure you click inbox and then click OK and then click uh, you can do from now on that's fine just do save so perfect now you've done the first step and there's only three more to do so um, it's really easy so the next step is to essentially use ChatGPT so now we've received an email um, the workflow now needs to be able to write a response and that's why we're going to be using ChatGPT and create a completion is what we're going to be clicking on now if you haven't connected OpenAI to make, then you need something called an API key. If you are a beginner, an API key is how you connect one software to another software. So if you don't know how to get your API key, just go to openai.com slash assistance. And I believe that is the correct URL, but it'll be around something like that and you can find it essentially. So uh, you just click add, you'd add your API key and then add your organization ID. Now, once you've connected your um, OpenAI account to make, um, we are then going to um, basically prompt chat GPT. So we're going to tell it what we want it to do and how we want it to respond to these emails that we're getting. So I recommend doing, um, you know, 4.0 if you have that. It could be chat GPT free. You know, it's really your preference. I just go over this one. Um, and then for this, we're going to click on add message right here and we're going to do system. And then we're going to say your, and let's do intelligent. Uh, let's do email um, or let's do you an intelligent assistant managing my inbox. So something simple. Um, you can obviously tell it to do what you want. But um, now we're going to click on add message again. And if we go back to the first one, what we did here is we essentially did message two as user. And then we told it to do this prompt. So I'm just going to copy this prompt into this one. Um, but 
you can obviously give this a read once I've imported it in here. So what we're telling it to do now, we've put the role as user and we're saying, you're currently managing my inbox that gets inquiries about my community. For every email you receive, make sure you write a professional, personalized response, helping them solve their concern. Use their first name and respond in an efficient manner with no emojis. Um, and here is what they have emailed you. So how you get this, in case you don't know, is it would look something like this, right? So what you want to do is you actually want to click on the text content. The text content is um, essentially what Make is, has mapped as the um, text that you've received in the email. So to give you, you know, an idea of what that looks like, let's just put the max tokens as 4,000, doesn't really matter. Um, if like you receive an email and let's say this is what they've sent, this is the text content, this, this text, right? Pretty self-explanatory, um, but that's just in case you didn't know. Um, so now we've given it some information. We've said what we want it to do. Um, and we've said, um, what you're responding to. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to give, um, ChatGPT an actual example of an email that, um, you've received in the past and then how you want it to respond. So we're giving it more information to make it a real, like a really good dialed in email AI assistant. So, um, to give an example, what we can do is if we look at what we did down here, we did user and then we put in a question that you would receive. Now, if you haven't received an email before um, about your offer or whatever, you, you know, you can build this for like a customer support bot, right? My point is that you would just put an example of an email that you would receive and then we're gonna do an answer to how you want it to respond. So let's just say this is a common email that I get asking me about my community. I would basically put that in here as user and I would just paste that in. So, um, Actually, sorry, it wouldn't be this one. It would be the one that I received on mail, right? So it would be this email right here. So we're putting this in and we would go back here and we would paste that in. So, hey, Charlie, so for $85, so you get the point. Like we're just putting an example and then we're gonna click on um, add message. I'm gonna do one more, which is gonna be the assistant. I believe it's assistant, it could be user, um, but it's assistant, yeah. And then we're just gonna put an example of how we want it to respond. So we're giving it information. Um, so obviously if you're building a customer support email bot, you would just put a common question that your customers ask and then um, a response. And obviously you can do this as many times as you want. The more information you give it, the better it's gonna respond. So that's just a quick side note. We've only given it one example, but you could do this again where you do another user question and then assistant answer. So now just click okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a sleep. Now, the reason we add a sleep is purely just to make it look like a human's responding, because if it responds within one second, it's going to look like AI. And for me personally, I want people to think it's me, not AI. So I think 90 seconds is good. You could do 120 seconds, 60 seconds is really up to you. Let's just keep it as 90 seconds. Make sure you're constantly saving it as you go. That's what we want to be doing. So you don't delete it. Um, and then for the final thing we're going to do is just um, click on Gmail and we're going to send an email. So make sure you connect the right to Gmail and for the uh, recipient, we're going to essentially map this right now. So um, we're going to go down here and we're going to look for um, email address. So um, this is essentially what we want. Um, and yeah, it just basically gets the email address. So each time you receive an email, it's gonna be able to map that as an email and then we send it back to that email, right? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then for the subject, I recommend saying something like um, answer for, and then we use their first name. So um, let's find their first name. So send a name, you can see is her. So perfect. So now it's gonna say like answer for Charlie, if it was me, um, you can even put a that so now for the content this is what you want to actually respond so we're simply just going to put in the result and now you've pretty much finished the automation so just like that you've built an ai email assistant in less than 10 minutes um so hopefully you found it valuable but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you some other things that you can do to give you guys even more free value so essentially let's say you do receive emails um, asking a question about you, your service, something about your business, you would want to keep that lead, right? Because obviously you don't want to like, for example, this, this Nicole person, if she didn't buy my thing, 
then I would want to do a, a follow up to make sure she buys, right? And follow ups are the easiest way to increase revenue about 60 to 80%. And that is statistically proven. So what we want to do is you can add something like a Google Sheet right here. So Google Sheets, and we can essentially um, update a row or you know add a row. Um, but essentially what we're going to be doing is adding the email address and the name to a Google Sheets so you can keep track, right? So um, you can do add a row, make sure you connect your Google Sheets um, search method. Yeah, you can keep this as a search by path. Make sure you um, yeah you use the drive and then the spreadsheet spreadsheets that I can basically put it into. So it could be like cold email AI, for example. And then we just want to select sheet one and then keep that the same. And then you can just say like which value you want to put it in. So for example, we can basically put the um, the sender's email in here, right? So now, just like that, it's going to add a row every single time. Um, and you can actually change the um, the field you want to put it in. But this is a pretty um, pretty easy way of going about it. And you can use Airtable. It doesn't have to be Google Sheets. But this is a very simple automation um, that is pretty um, pretty good. But you could also have this as like a notification. So let's say you are saying this as a customer support email. Um, what you'd want to do is you'd want to get a notification if like a customer wants to cancel their membership, right? Or something like that. And you can also do that um, in here through various different ways of going about it, right? Um, so you can get more creative with this. You can put it into pipe drive, go high level, um, other things. So yeah, that is, um, you can see, I think, I'm not sure what I would use as a notification, um, but you can even do Apple push notifications. So yeah, you can get pretty damn creative with this. And obviously it's an amazing thing that I think all businesses should have as it's free. It will save you time and you don't actually have to respond to all emails. You can simply Gmail filter and then you can do it by fit, uh, query. So let's say you get, let's say you only want it to respond to emails that are about like your product. You could have that as this. So we can filter it if you want. Um, but hopefully you found this video valuable. If you want this automation and about 10 other make automations completely built for you, um, then feel free to join my school community. If you aren't already in my school community, I don't know what you're doing. Like there's, I think 400, you can see about 400 members in here. All of them are doing really well, like crushing it. It's an amazing community. Um, there's 40 plus hours worth of content, but the best part about this all is you actually get free unlimited goal level with about 15 plus done for your automations. And there's a make module right here where you can simply import um, these or these automations that I'm showing you with one click. So you can just go here and you can simply import the file that I give you inside this make.com module, but you also get all of these um, covering how to sell, how to onboard clients, AI service delivery, appointment setting, lead generation, offer creation, paid ads, like you name it, we've got resources on how to, um, you know, solve that constraint in your business, right? And as well as we have coaching calls and so much more. But yeah, that will be the first link in the description. It's an amazing community. You can come say hi to me. And yeah, if not, don't worry, just like and subscribe. I'll put some videos up here that you can watch and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and have an amazing day.